So um, this ad is sponsored by Anchor. If you haven't heard about Anchor, it's the easiest way to make a podcast. Let me explain. It's free. There's creation tools that allow you to record and edit your podcast right from your phone or computer. Anchor will distribute your podcast for you so it can be heard on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, and many more. You can make money from your podcast with no minimum listenership. It's everything you need to make a podcast in one place. Download the free Anchor app or go to anchor.fm to get started. Hello, and thank you for joining me on Montessori Creativity and the Meaning of Life. I'm your host, Robin Norgren, and I am going through a series called Love Poems from God. And it's featuring 12 of the sacred voices from the East and the West and sharing some poetry with you that you may or may not be familiar with. Um, Right now, I am featuring St. Francis of Assisi, which um, for me is one of my most favorite um, saints. And I just want to offer you a few more poems that you can use in your time of contemplation and meditation. In a Vision In a vision, I asked for the most intimate experience with the Christ. No one would believe what happened in a vision more true than this world. The sacred cord pulsated life throughout the universe as I nursed my own Lord at my breasts. Dear God, Dear God, please reveal to us your sublime beauty that is everywhere everywhere, everywhere, so that we will never again feel frightened. My divine love, my love, please let us touch your face. The result of prayer. The result of prayer is life. Prayer irrigates the earth and heart. in all things. It was easy to love God in all that was beautiful. The lesser, the lessons of deeper knowledge, though, instructed me to embrace God in all things. Only love honors God. Only love honors God. That sounds as if it could be true. But surely, everything he made must be perfect. Ring out my clothes. Such love does the sky now pour that whenever I stand in a field, I have to ring out the light when I get home. God's admiration. God's admiration for us is infinitely greater than anything we can conjure up for him. Wild forces. There are beautiful wild forces within us. Let them turn the mills inside and fill sacks that feed even heaven. Does every creature have a soul? A tool in your hand I am, dear God, the sweetest instrument you have shaped my being into. What makes me now complete? Feeding the soul of every creature against my heart. Does every creature have a soul? Surely they do, for anything God has touched will have life forever and all creatures he has held. Our need for thee. In our ever-present need for thee, beloved, let us know your peace. Let us be your instruments that break every shackle. 
for do not the caged ones weep? And give us our inheritance of divine love so that we can forgive like you. And let us be wise so that we do not wed another's madness and then make them in debt to us for the deep gash their helpless raging lance will cause. Darkness is an unlit wick. It just needs your touch. Beloved, to become a sacred flame. And what sadness in this world could endure if it looked into your eyes? God is like a honeybee. He doesn't mind calling me calling him that. For when you are kind, sweet, he nears and can draw you into himself. What is there to understand of each other? If a wand turned the sun into a moon, would not the moon mourn the ecstatic evulgence as it once was? What is there to understand of each other? If a wand turned the sun into a moon, would not the moon mourn the ecstatic effulgence it once was? We are all in mourning for the experience of our essence we knew and now miss. Light is the cure. All else is placebo. Yes, I will console any creature before me that is not laughing or full of passion for their art or life. For laughing and passion, beauty and joy is our heart's truth. All else is labor and foreign to the soul. I have stood in his reign and now fill granaries as do the fertile plains. Giving is as natural to love as sound from the mouth. There is a courageous dying. It is called effacement. That holy death unfurls our spirit's wings and allows us to embrace God even as we stand on the earth. Well, next up, we will be listening to the poems of Rumi. Looking forward to getting to know more of his work, as I'm sure many of you are as well. Just want to say hello and thank you to my new subscribers. It's such a blessing to have you along this journey with me. And I hope that this is bringing value to you. Make sure to share and subscribe. Um, pass it along to those who think you think might um, want a little more of... Um, just connecting with God and feeling his presence in a deeper way. Thanks for stopping by. Mm -hmm.